Hey, you guys. I am... I'm doing this simultaneously. This is so crazy. I have you on Facebook Live and on Periscope. And my Periscope seems to be clearer. Or maybe it's just the phone. I can't no. decide. And my children are sitting next to me over there being schmoes. So, um, hi. I, um... I'm here. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. This is kind of crazy. I'm doing, um, I'm going to look at one camera. So I apologize if I'm looking at the, at the camera and not the other one. Um, anyway, so I am back, uh, and I had a lot of, of really good stuff to tell you. So, um, I have been gone for a couple of days. I needed a few days off with my kids. We, um, went to go visit some friends, uh, in Pennsylvania in the Poconos or the Pinocchios as my four-year-old likes to call them. Um, and it was a really good couple of days to just disconnect and hang out with some friends and be with our kids and go to the beach and go to the pool and, um, I pretty much totally disconnected from work. I chatted with Jackie a few times. So I said to the boys on my way home last night, like not talking to Jackie every day is like a piece missing from my life. So that was kind of hard. Um, but it was a really good, <clears throat> it was a really good few days. And I had a lot of really good, meaningful conversation with my girlfriend who, um, who, uh, Oh, I just covered that. Hold on just a second. Um, who I haven't seen since the end of school. And, you know, we had a lot of stuff trans like go on through the summer. And we were catching up and doing all kinds of stuff. And she was asking me about why am I yelling and what's going on. And I was telling her about the intensive that I've got going on um, starting in September. I don't even know what month we're in right now. It's August, right? August 26th. Um, starting in September. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Can you go inside? Um, so I was telling her about, um, the back to you intensive and I was explaining it to her and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And she was saying, you know, I really feel like it's a really good thing that you're doing because oftentimes as mothers, we make excuses for ourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and what I mean by that is a lot of times we say, I can't do something right now because blah, blah, blah. I, uh, I'll do it later. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this one thing, I will take care of myself. As soon as, and what happens is we get into a, a pattern almost that, not that we don't matter, but that everything else comes before us. And I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of doing it for several, many, many, many years prior to um, kind of having a light bulb go off in my head. And she said to me, you know, I feel like we do. We make a lot of excuses for ourselves. We make excuses for our families. We make, we make excuses because we feel guilty because it's like, you know what? I am going to take an hour for myself and I'm not, I'm going to try not to feel guilty for it. But you know, <clears throat> that hour that I could be spending on myself, I could be reading a book to my kids or making dinner or doing the laundry or all the other stuff that we have happening in our lives, in our heads that we think need to happen right now. That's the other thing I find with us is that we we have a hard time putting things off. It's like, for, especially for me, I am a type A I have to get things done immediately. I like to do things, you know, it's on my plate. I want to get it off. I cross it off my list. I feel better about it. I'm done. Except I think that what happens is, or I know that what happens is because it's happened to me, you get into a rut or you get into, you start becoming resentful of the people around you because maybe they're doing it differently than you and they're doing it in a way that you might want to do it or you're having a hard time just figuring it out how to put all the pieces together. So my girlfriend was saying, you know, 
I feel like I did that up until last year and her oldest is 11. Um, and she was like, you know what? I just kind of had a breakdown. And I said to my husband, you know, I need you to help me. And here's the thing. Here's what I've learned. If you ask for help, <clears throat> nine times out of 10, you're going to get it. Especially, hi, Air. Especially if it's with your partner or your husband or your, whoever it is that you're parenting with. If you're going through something, if you are in the middle of feeling like, oh my God, I can't handle this. And I keep making excuses for not doing something for myself because I feel like I have to carry the weight all on my shoulders. And I don't feel like I should be able, I should ask for help because that's a sign of weakness, right? <clears throat> then what happens is you start getting worn down and you start to feel resentful and mad and unappreciated and overworked and all the stuff that comes along with just being exhausted and hi, Jen. Um, and so after I had, I had a lot of really good talks with my girlfriend this weekend because, <clears throat> you know, I've kind of been isolated up here. I have a lot of friends up here too, but I haven't seen my New York friends in a while. And you know, she's a teacher too. And so I get it. Like she's got kids all day long and then she's got kids at home and she has a lot on her plate all the time. And so like she was saying to me, she's like, you know, I feel like, you know, the best word to use is an excuse. Like it's an excuse for me to, um, you know, go and do other things for my family because I feel a little bit guilty when I'm not doing them. But then when I go and do something for myself, I feel guilty because, I'm doing something for me and not for them. So it's a double-edged sword. It's a catch-22. It's, um, it's not an easy thing being a mom at all. And it's not an easy thing being a mother who also wants to be a good friend and a great partner and a wife and a, uh, an excellent coworker and all the things that you want to be during the course of your 24 hours and only to start the next day. But really when you have people there who are willing to help you, your life changes. And I feel like, bless the teachers, I know it, they're all going back to school, bless those teachers. Um, so I'm here to tell you to stop making the excuses because once I stopped making excuses for myself, once I stopped saying, you know what, I can't do this right now because I have to do this, 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 and this for everybody else except me. Or as soon as I'm done with these three things for this one, this one, and that one, then maybe I'll get around to do, doing something for me, except that never happened. Something else always came up and something else always showed up in my life that I felt needed to be, <clears throat> to be tended to prior to me being tended to. And until I really, you know, emotionally and, you know, physically got exhausted and, you know, broke down and cried and asked for help like a normal human being, like we all should and we all can, is when everything changed. And that's when I realized, you know what? It's okay. It's okay to, um, to ask for help and to expect help from the people that you love the most. You, God, how's, oh, I can't wait to talk to you. How's the Martha's Vineyard, Maria? Um, the Martha's Vineyard, like, what am I, crazy? Um, I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. Ask your kids for help. Jesus, I mean, my kids are 10 and four. They can do shit now. So make your bed, get your breakfast, do your own stuff. Help me out because guess what? Happy mommy is a happy everybody, right? Ask your partner for help. You know what? Load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher, help clear the table, uh, throw in a load of laundry, maybe fold the laundry perhaps. I don't know, make a bed. If everybody pitched in and did one thing off of your list every single day or once a week or even whatever it is, you would have that much more time <clears throat> to do something for you. So if I have my husband, you know, wash the breakfast dishes and make the bed in the morning, that gives me, it takes him probably 20 minutes to do that, but it takes me five. But regardless, it's, it's time that I don't have to do it. So I can spend five more minutes talking to Jackie or chatting with Maria, or being online, or doing things for me that I want to do for me, or spending an extra five minutes at the gym, or not having to like leave early for something. 
It's all about planning your life and it's all about planning your day and it's all about not having to make excuses for wanting to have your own existence. Don't ever apologize or make an excuse for yourself on behalf of yourself, really. It's like you're making an excuse for yourself. You're not making an excuse on behalf of anybody else. It's your house that still needs to be cleaned. You don't need to make the excuse for it. You just need to have people help you. Um, and when I was talking to my girlfriend this weekend, <clears throat> she was like, you know what? This weekend. I, I, think, I keep thinking today's Saturday because I took Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. Um, when I was talking to her, she was like, you know what? You're right. And it took me a long time to realize that and way too long. Like, you know, she's like, my kids are 11 and seven, like, or eight, 11 and eight. She's like, they can get their stuff done. They can get breakfast for themselves in the morning. They can do whatever they need to do. I just felt like if I wasn't doing it, it wasn't going to get done. And that's another thing we have to get over. We have to get over that <clears throat> we are the ones who do it all and we're the only ones who can do it because we're not the only ones who can do it. And once we kind of let that go too, it's a much more freeing feeling. And then it's like, you know what? I can go and spend an hour on my paddleboard this afternoon because I know that after this, I'm going to take the boys for a haircut. We're going to go to the grocery store and get whatever we need to get for the weekend. We're going to, I'm going to come home, do a little bit of work. We're going to go to the beach. I'm going to, I'm going to paddle for an hour. Somebody will watch my children. But that's going to be my time because I need some time for myself. And every single one of us, every single one of us on this Facebook Live, every single one of us on this Periscope, share this Periscope out, by the way, because I feel like people need to know about it. Um, and share this Facebook. I don't know if you can share the Facebook Live out, but tell other people to watch my Facebook Lives because, you know, why not? Um, once you realize that you can have people help you or that you can rearrange your schedule to make it more conducive for a little bit of time for yourself... Your life will change. Your, the weight on your back will lift. The, uh, the negative emotions and the negative endorphins happening in your brain will change. They will switch. They will switch to positivity. And that's all I am, am talking about. It's like I spoke to a, a potential client the other night. And she was saying the same thing. She's trying to build a business and she's got two kids and her husband works really late hours and she feels like a single mom sometimes. And I totally can sympathize with her because that's my life. Will works really late hours. Is it something that he doesn't want to do? No, he loves his job. We don't complain. It's just our life. And so we have figured out how to manage through it, right? He helps me in the morning. He helps me get the boys ready for school. He helps me, you know, um, make the bed, he'll wash the, the dishes and stuff and, and straighten up the house while I'm working in the morning because that's my time to work. Right. It's my time to work. So I do my work while he's cleaning up around the house and helping me out. And this way I don't have to do it. And then I can manage the kids for the whole rest of the afternoon or pick them up from school or take them to soccer practice or do whatever else I need to do but I know that he's already pitched in and helped me. And then when he gets home, he'll help me do whatever I need him to help me do at night. It's a 50, it's a hundred, a hundred. I never say 50, 50, cause it shouldn't be 50, 50. It should be a hundred, a hundred. Everybody put, needs to put in a hundred percent of their selves into their relationships in order to make a hundred percent of it work. Period. End of story. If you're getting 50% out of somebody and you're putting in 150%, that's not the right answer because you're missing out on what you need to do for yourself. And I'm not saying you need to go and have, you know, extravagant vacations with your girlfriends, although those are lovely too. And I'm not saying you need to go and like diss everybody all the time. I'm merely asking for a manicure and a pedicure every other week with my friend Maria Rizzo. I am merely asking for a girl's night out once or twice a month. I am asking for <clears throat> an hour to go to the gym in the morning. I'm not asking for a lot. And that's stuff that everybody else gets on a regular basis that I don't. Anyway, stop making excuses, ladies. Stop making excuses. You can do it. You will do it. And you'll be a much happier, better person for it. In September, it is back to you month. I'm doing a 90-minute intensive. It is full of mindset, positive energy. Um, we're talking about how to get what you want out of it and how we're going to make it happen for you. If you know somebody who would be interested in spending an hour, 90 minutes with me, it's an awful fun 90 minutes, um, <clears throat> get them on board. Jackie's going to post the link. 
to the Why Am I Yelling Facebook group. She'll put a graphic up. I believe it's the, currently the pinned post in, y, in, the, um, in our Facebook group. <clears throat> so if you comment in the pinned post, I will reach out to you personally. We'll schedule a quick call. We'll talk about your stuff. And then we'll get you on board for um, an intensive with me in September. It's only happening in September. Get on board. Tell your peeps. Um, and we will make sure that everybody is not making excuses and maximizing their time and their life and making everybody's life better for it. That's all I have. I'm back from vacation. Uh, it was a good time. We went to the Pinocchios. The Pinocchios? You know what? I used to go to the, Pino the Poconos. Now I call them the Pinocchios because that's what Elias calls them. But the Poconos were um, pretty much the same as when I used to go there as a kid 30 years ago. <clears throat> it's very kitschy and very rustic and very rural um, and super cute. Lots of like A-frame cute houses and all that kind of stuff. So we had a really, really fun time. Um, I will definitely be going back there to visit our friends. Um, so I'm back. Next week um, is going to be spotty because I do not have um, camp for the kids. It's our last week of freedom before school starts, and I'm pretty excited about it. i got to be honest. I am ready to get back to New York. I'm, getting, I'm ready to get back to my girls back there. I am ready to get back to school. I'm ready to get back into a routine. Um, I am ready. And I'm not sure that my kids are, but too bad, folks, because guess what? School is starting, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, <clears throat> so that's it for today. No excuses. No more excuses. Stop making excuses. I am not accepting any excuses. No more I can't. Take the vocabulary of I can't out of your mouth. Change it. Change it to I will. Change it to instead of I can't. Say, okay, instead of saying I can't get a manicure today, say, guess what? I'm going to get a manicure tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday or whatever it is that you're going to do it. Don't say, stop with the I can'ts. Stop making excuses. Get out there and live your life and live your life for the better because your kids will appreciate you more, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever it is that you are partnering with will appreciate you more. The person that you're co-parenting with, if it's not the person that you're partnered with, will appreciate you more. You can make this happen. I know you can because I've done it and every person on these scopes who's watching me right now has done it because you're all friends of mine. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.